Ah, uh, it's apparently like an Overwatch League flight. There are a bunch of teams and casters and all of that. So while we are on the airplane, we could play Overwatch, but apparently they don't have PCs on the airplane. Do they? Oh, hey! Hey, you guys ready? Yeah. Ready? Don't do your little fingers like that. Keep those to yourself, bud. The traveling from LA was not that bad because even though we uh, left our home really early in the morning, I slept in the plane. We had to wake up pretty early for gamers, you know, waking up at like 7 a.m. is pretty rough, but I mean, me and Mangashu booked the exit seats on the airplane, so that was pretty much a pretty good flight. This is how good Toronto defined is. We know when the earthquakes happen before they happen, so we just fly away. <laughs> Uh, the travel was pretty easy to sleep the whole time. The hotel is honestly incredible. Uh, I don't have the best view of Atlantic I know there are some good ones, but uh, the hotel is really nice and the experience has been pretty easy. Hello! Welcome to my hotel room. We're staying at the uh, Embassy Suites in Atlanta for the homestand. Let me give you a tour. Come on in. Uh, starting off, you know, got a living room, pretty spacious, comfy couch, TV, desk to do your work, maybe some VOD reviews for the next match. Uh, we got a bathroom, pretty big, not too bad. Big shower head, it's actually tall enough for me. Pretty happy about that. Damn, how tall are you? 6'3 to 6'5, it's one of those two. I'm too tall, to answer your question. And then we got the bedroom. Comfy bed, another TV, you can chill out, watch TV. Another desk if I gotta do work. The doors slide, it's pretty cool. Magic. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Got a microwave, mini fridge, coffee maker, if you want some coffee. You drink coffee? I don't drink coffee at all. I don't need that caffeine in my life. I get addicted to it and it's all downhill. Yeah. Get the f out. <laughs> what we do now, we take the Tabasco and put it on all of the pizza. We take all of the Tabasco because that's how you make food taste good. You just, you just Tabasco it. Ah. <laughs> uh -uh. Okay, that's intentional. <laughs> totally intentional. Oh my god, it's literally running down. It's dripping down on the on the rest of the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> you can taste the Tabasco. One thing that I didn't like about being here was just walking to the arena in like really humid, hot weather. The crowd is definitely People look down It's down sold out. I'm terrified of this crowd. They, they look down on you, bro. How does that make you feel? Short. <laughs> For once in your life. Yeah. It's fairly big for for like an esports event, I suppose. Uh, it's gonna be exciting. Uh, that's how we do mic checks in all the centers. We want to define twice together. I feel like these are tiny desks. Hey, I need a nap. Looking very hostile this morning. <laughs> Holy sh! It's not even in the morning. I've been twisting this thing for like an hour and it doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> you know, the straight power move is go over to the Shanghai side, take one of their chairs and just swap. <laughs> Cut. Cut. <laughs> Get it off. It's over.
the hotel lobby was like full. Yeah. So I basically said, and I'll come back. Uh, you know? The hotel lobby was full, so he said, heck it. I think you, heck it. Heck it, and came back here. I got so in fine. Canadian. You know, we're just not trying to swear on camera. We can swear on camera. Yeah, but you know, it's it's more work for the editor to it out. He's not gonna it out, right? I'm having a great time already. Alright, what are we using? I'm loving this. The chairs are comfy. The desk is perfect. The lighting is great. Is there a bumble server? Or a bumble? You know, I'm being very serious. <laughs> no, you were being sarcastic. No sarcasm here. No, no, no. In from Toronto. Yeah, we drove from Toronto to Detroit, flew out of Detroit, got here on Thursday, spent the whole weekend here. We're very excited. I do love Danville. Yeah, I do love Danville. I am 37 yeah. as well. And we're really excited to have Logic for the team. Image. Obviously, Manga an actual Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to see everyone out there. We just name like every. Almost I know, every I'm religion. sorry. We just love everybody. We love <laughs> all the players. We're, we're Canadian. <laughs> Pretty excited to be here. New place, you know. Traveling is fun for the most part. It's humid though, so that's not fun. Yeah, humidity but is definitely. You're fun. such a loser. You're supposed to love it. I can't love it. Man. There you go. I'm never gonna get used to that feeling of people just like knowing who I am without me knowing them. I don't know. I kind of like it. Like a lot of times, the fans are really cool, and they just want to like talk to you for a second, and, like. Just have like a normal like quick conversation or like just shake your hand and that's really cool. So basically sure. this match is whichever team, whichever 0-5 team is more alpha is going to win exactly. this match. So yeah. we're trying to establish dominance here as the better 0-5 team at this point. I am, I am the hero. Of the crowd right now. I don't know why, but everyone loves me. came on stage to the moment we left, they were booing for us whilst they were cheering for Atlanta, so obviously it's not the most fun being on the receiving end, but like it's honestly like, if you put it like in the big picture, it's like, it's crazy to see how passionate fans are. I love the idea of like having a storyline where like the crowd is against us and the other teams against us and they're feeling the pressure of the crowd, like cheering for them and we're supposed to feel the pressure of the crowd doing us, but in the end it just like gives you more energy, the same way it gives the other team energy when they get cheered for. At least for us, it was just fun. Like we were just having fun. I was having fun, like talking to the crowd and yelling at them and stuff, and just interacting with them while they're booing us. And I, I liked it a lot. It was fun. Even though we lost, I think my favorite moment was playing versus Atlanta Rain and the crowd going crazy after they beat us in the first map, and then them going completely silent after we won both Sky. That was like the best feeling. It was like in a library. Like it was that quiet. As soon as we won it, and we're all like. You know, jumping around on the point, like looking down at the bodies and shooting the bodies and stuff as they're trying to touch and getting that full hold and having the crowd go silent was honestly a really cool experience. Like, I love that. Because I liked being the villain. Like, I, I feel like we all embrace that, kind of. I mean, I had people telling me after, uh, like, Atlanta fans or just fans of the event in general, they were telling me, man, we, thanks for being the villain. <laughs> like, they actually were like, we loved it out in the crowd. And I was like yelling out, I'm like, come on, like, what are you doing? And, yelling at the crowd and like giving them thumbs down and stuff when they boot us, like, uh, it was a good time, I really enjoyed that part actually. I am signing things potentially soon, so. All right, right. <laughs> I thought I had, I had no fans, but I actually 
they actually came for me to just get an autograph. And... I am 37. You're the best. <laughs> Give me some practice. Let me sign this. Yeah. If you had said no, I would have been really sad. <laughs> hey! Uh, asking me uncomfortable questions. Can people sign your forehead? Why would they sign me? Can I sign you? Exactly. What? Yes. I just did. Later. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's cool. There were people freaking out just about my presence. It's just, it's not something that I'd ever really expect to happen, you know? It's not something I'd even think about happening like a year ago. So I'm just, uh, have, I guess, his attention is just kind of surreal. Who do you think is going to win? Uh, Excuse don't me? Say, don't oh, say it too loud. Oh, All right, I'm not don't say it too loud. I'm not signing that. It's over. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's actually really cool to see people in person because it feels like you can look at like your Twitter feed or you can look at like the stream that they're watching, right? But it doesn't give you any type of connection. But when someone actually comes up to you and like you ask their name, like shake their hand and stuff, it's a completely different experience. It's really cool to actually see the fans in person, like, like have little interactions with them. Because in the end, we're all just like kind of fans of the same thing. We're all just fans of eSports. We just happen to be competing at the time, you know? I actually had a fan come up to me with a Florida Mayhem jersey that I sent last year. So that's probably one of the cooler experiences here. I mean, overall, like, this was like probably like my first big signing in like a long time. So it was like really fun, you know, obviously like, Getting to meet the people that cheer for you every single match is just like one of the greatest feelings ever. Like seeing those people that are there, like even if you're doing bad, you're doing good, like they're still there to support you. But the Fran 1v1 thing kind of just started off a Reddit post and somebody just randomly posted a thread saying petition to sign Magnus vs. to Fran, Torp 1v1 hammers only. And it got a lot of signatures, I don't know how many, but it got enough to catch Blizzard's attention, and then Blizzard, last minute, was like, all right, we're doing this thing. Great, you know where you're sitting, right? Yep, uh, left side. That's right, you know where you're sitting? Yeah, Great, it's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> no, right side. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, right side. It's good for the big walkout. Uh, did you yeah. practice? Yeah. 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 There's been a lot of time <laughs> hammer oh, Okay, okay, you're but like, did you do a little bit? Are we doing it? Is it oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, okay, I, I, just, I tested a little bit too. Okay. Gonna practice the head rank. Yeah, exactly, the oh head rank, dude. Um, the walkout was pretty funny. Ladies and gentlemen, from their Toronto Defiant, welcome to the stage, Manga Chu! You know, mix of boos and cheers, the land of pride, you know. How do you plan on taking down the OG hammer? Mangachu today. Oh, he's it, dude. He's washed up, dude. <laughs> I think that's it. The interaction from the teams was funny. I had Baby Bay and Dog Man run over to me, talk some shit, and then I kicked his ass, shoot him away, and they ran. And and everybody else in the team who was like two floors above us booked it down the moment they saw those two talking trash, and they came to support me. And uh, we ended up getting the W. And then one v one, her I did. Uh, so it was it was pretty fun. Seeing a crowd so alive and energetic was fantastic. I got He's the alpha talk. Here at Atlanta homestand, we were able to get um First to win, so Mangachu won a tour of 1v1 hammer versus Duffran, so I was really happy about that. Uh, I personally really have enjoyed every time I've come to Atlanta. I've been here one other time. Uh, I just feel it feels like home to me, and since I'm kind of used to not being somewhere that feels like home, like being in LA or even traveling to other cities that are like. I don't know, just like different culturally, but being in the South, like Georgia feels like home, so I've actually quite enjoyed it, despite the heat. Other than that, I mean, I'm just really excited for Stage 4. We're going to take a little break right now, uh, have a seat together and just talk about what we want to do for Stage 4. Atlanta's nice. I mean, it's humid as hell, but, you know, that's just the weather. What can you do? The city's beautiful. Lovely area. Stage 4, I mean, the, the problems with our team are problems that involve short-term issues, you know? It's just people getting gelled in with each other, figuring out how we calm, how we play, and stuff like that. It's kind of a brand new meta for me. 
for the most part, you know, I've been playing GOATS for the past year and a half, and to suddenly jump into OWL and play triple DPS was kind of surprising. But uh, I'm, I think I'm overall playing pretty well. It just comes down, like I said before, just team issues, and hopefully we can fix those for Stage 4.